Hi everybody, my name is JJ Menu and I'm an application engineer at Arrow Electronics. Today, we'll give a short history of cryptography. Cryptography is a science of secret communication. The etymology comes from Greek language, where crypto means hidden or secret, and graphy denotes a process or form of drawing, writing, describing. One of the first known methods of cryptography was to shave the head of a messenger, write the message on his bald skull, wait for his hair to grow to hide the message, and finally send the messenger. Obviously, this method was very slow. The first non-military application was the Cytel, 5 centuries BC. The belt of soldiers had the hidden message with a simple transposition. Wrapping the belt around the stick, called Cytel, with a specific diameter correlated to the transposition value makes the message decrypted. Similar ID is the transposition of Caesar shift. The method is simple. Shift all the letters by a given number, modulo 26, as there are 26 letters in Latin language. Caesar shifted letter by 3. That means A was replaced by D, B was replaced by E, C was replaced by F, and so on. With this pattern, Arrow Electronics encrypted as D U U R Z H O H F W U R Q L F V. This kind of cipher is breakable in a few minutes, as each letter has the same equivalent in the cipher text, and that reveals a lot of information on the plain text. A simple frequency analysis on the text that is long enough reveals the shift immediately. In English, E has a frequency of 12.02%, T of 9.1%, A of 8.12%, O of 0.68%, and so on. Our example of Arrow Electronics is too short to match this frequency, but a few hundreds of words would do the job. On the 16th century, Wagner got the intuition a key was necessary to be more secure. Then, instead of a simple shift, a key is applied. In our previous example, let's use the simple key ABCD. The letters R are not encrypted with the same letter anymore. But with the power of calculation available nowadays, it is very easy to recover the key. We just need to make an assumption about the length of the key and then make a frequency analysis. The 19th century was a mechanical age and mechanical encryptions were designed allowing to shift the key each time a letter was pushed on the keyboard. For instance, the key ABCD would become DABC, then CDAB and so on. The most famous one was Enigma, designed in Germany and played a key role during the Second World War. It had three to five rotors, allowing around two to the power of 18 rotor position. So it was much more difficult than the positions of four letters A, B, C, D to discover. Alan Turing and other scientists at Bechley Park in England broke Enigma code and changed the course of history. After the Second World War, it was the end of the mechanical age and the beginning of the digital age and changed the way cryptography was designed. Shannon conceptualized the information security with the basic idea that cipher text should reveal no information about plain text. Up to now, the way to encrypt a message had to be kept secret. Today, the approach is opposite. Encryption formulas are known to everybody, but the secret comes from the key. Mathematic tools are used and prime numbers play a key role. Indeed, if you are asked to multiply two prime numbers to get 15, everybody knows 3 multiplied by 5 equals 15. But for very large numbers, there is no known method to find these prime numbers. Even if mathematics problems don't look to have a solution with our knowledge, that does not mean scientists won't find a solution to complex problems someday. Besides, error in implementations and many side channel attacks break sophisticated encryption every day. In the end, solution to good encryption is not always high tech. An unknown language can be the best encryption 
at the example of the Navajos demonstrated during the Second World War. Still today, high-tech armies are puzzled when fighting in small countries because they cannot decrypt the local language and culture.